Hey guys, welcome back to Cheesy Crafts. In this video, I am going to be showing you a second layout for the fancy, elegant uh, planner decor and the final look for the month. I am going to be using the Ton uh, Hotte stamp set and also the layering high biscuits from Hero Arts. For the inks on these flowers, I am going to be using Stamping Up one is a positively pink one is a strawberry flush and that third one i have no idea but i'll link it on the video below so this is just me demonstrating how to stamp the lay a layout look it was it took me some time to practice at first i almost gave up because sometimes i wouldn't align them correctly but the, you know, after some continuous practice, of course, the flowers came out really beautiful. And I am going to be using these throughout the monthly pages. So just layering the third image and look how pretty that is. Very gorgeous. Now I am going to show you the laying out for the hibiscus flower that's from Hero Arts. And I'm not going to show you all of them um, because I was trying to save time on the video. But I did end up stamping a whole lot more and fuzzy cutting them. I do have the die cuts for these stamp sets. But I feel like when you do so many, it takes more time to use the Big Shot machine. And so to me, it's a lot faster just to fuzzy cut them myself. And so that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And like I said, I fussy cut them a lot more than just three because I used them throughout the planner. Okay, so we're going to start by using the Recollection washi tape that came in the kit that was on sale from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just kind of sorting through the colors that I want to incorporate for this week's layout. I did notice that I tend to use more colors than others. Like I don't think I ever use there's a washi tape that says hello throughout the the tape and I hardly I don't believe I even used it. There was plenty of washi tape left over even after doing multiple layouts not only for the complete month but also for additional planners that I've already given away and so I don't know I was able to get a good amount I think I I did three additional planners using the same um, washi tape kit so it goes a long way I guess is what I'm trying to say my phone is just going crazy over here yeah ignore the hubby <laughs> he's commenting in the back while i'm doing the voiceover but just basically placing down washi tape and i'm trimming the excess off i felt like there was something missing at the top of the page so i have um took the thick flowery washi tape and i've laid it down but i end up cutting it and using the other half for the other page I didn't want it to be as thick and heavy at the top. And now I am just going to place um, or play around with the flowers to see how I want them to lay out or to be placed down. I did end up using stamping up dimensionals to pop some of these flowers up and that's pretty much going to complete the layout uh, you know before securing the flowers I'm just once again making sure that I like where I'm placing them I ended up extending the washi tape a little bit further just so that it could be seen through through the flower on that 
portion that you guys just saw me do and then adding a pretty flower on the left side and that's where I'm adding the dimension very simple but very elegant page I was really happy with how this month's uh, theme turned out I hope that you enjoy it as well and then I'll just go ahead and show you guys the complete pages So that's going to complete this layout. I pretty much um, ended up taking those uh, stamping up dimensionals that you guys saw and just popping them up on these two flowers just to stand them up and make them pop a little bit. And very simple, this layout has the focus on the flowers. So let me show you the complete product. We're going to start with layout number one, which you guys have already seen. These are stamped directly into the paper. So are the leaves. And then this girl's sweet sachet from Tonic Studios, just very elegant. And so I wanted to, once again, simulate that the leaves are falling towards her or on the ground. Layer number two, just took the books that come with the same flower stamp set is from the ton and just pretty much simulated that the vase is on top of the books and kept the second page very simple with just a small sentiment and a little bit of decoration. Third layout, once again, is the focus is a flower and an elegant girl. This stamp set is from Unity Stamp Company and these flowers are as well from Stamping, I mean not Stamping Up, Unity Stamp Company. These flowers are from Hero Arts, um, Hibiscus, I'm not sure there's, it's called something Hibiscus and so that's that. And just kept a little bit of banner here to even out the colors on the top page. Another small sentiment. And of course, this is the layout that we just completed. And then the final, well, the fourth layout is this page right here. And I pretty much took the same stamp sets, which are these books right here. I turned them sideways. I trimmed them so that they're all leaving. And then I put the yellow washi tape to simulate like a bookshelf the flower and then these books of course are laying down as well and just a simple little flower at the corner and then the final layout or layout number five is this um, design friends and flowers never fade that's a sentiment from the greeting farm this is another stamp set from Unity Stamp Company that my crafting neighbor let me borrow. And of course, just decorating with the same washi tape and a little glamorous banner at the top to balance it out. And that is going to complete this monthly layout. I hope that you enjoyed watching. I'll flip through it one more time. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon for another layout. Bye.